Okay, folks, I didn't even want to make this video because this is such tempest in a teapot crap about the Trump tapes that there's almost practically nothing to cover. I just wanted to bring up a couple of quick points about them. First of all, the, the headlines are saying things like Trump asks Georgia's Secretary of State to find uh, 12,000 votes. Now, that in and of itself, without context, is misleading because what it sounds like is that Trump is asking the Georgia Secretary of State to find 12,000 Republican votes to put him over the top. That's not what's going on. What Trump is saying, and this is the whole basis of the call, is that, look, we have got 400,000 credible instances of voter fraud, which is more than enough to flip Georgia in favor of Trump. Therefore, why is it that you are saying that there's nothing wrong with the current Georgia count that shows Trump uh, 12,000 votes behind. And, and basically Trump's whole idea is that where there's smoke, there's fire. And if there are 400,000 credible instances of voter fraud, in his mind at least, then there's got to be at least 12,000 valid instances of voter fraud in there somewhere. It can't just all be wrong to the tune of, you know, 99% of these uh, voting fraud allegations or election fraud allegations. So the whole basis of the, of the conversation is that Trump is convinced that there was significant enough voter fraud in Georgia to turn the election over to Biden and at least in Georgia. I mean, he'd, he'd also have to prove the same thing in several other states in order for him to actually become president-elect uh, again. But uh, the, the, the presence of that many credible allegations, which are credible in his mind, should be swaying at least to the Secretary of State's mind. Now, the Secretary of State is coming back and saying, look, we've done our, our investigations into all of the allegations that you have brought forward, and we haven't found any real evidence of voter fraud, so we're going to stick with our numbers. And to which the, the Trump's legal team says, well, we've been asking you for the data for two weeks now uh, so that we can make those comparisons ourselves and you haven't given it to us. So we'd love to be able to tell the president just with like you that there's nothing to these allegations and that would settle the matter, but we can't do that without the data that you've got, which we've been requesting. And Georgia's Secretary of State says, well, we can't give you that data because by law we're not allowed to. So the lawyers kind of bump their heads together and say, okay, well, are there any legal ways that we can share this data or at least, you know, get, get our team to sign non-disclosure agreements, things like that, and uh, that way we can see the data and see for ourselves. And basically the whole conversation said, okay, well, have your lawyers call our lawyers, we'll take it offline and, you know, we'll see what we can do. So the whole conversation... Uh, is basically Trump believes there's voter fraud in a significant enough amount to flip the election to him if it were uncovered. The Georgia Secretary of State says there's nothing to the allegations that Trump is hearing, and if he had the data that he won't release, uh, then the Trump team would understand that, so they've just basically got to trust the Georgia Secretary of State office. Trump does it, so basically the lawyers are going to get together and see if there's any kind of data sharing and, and shared data analysis that they can do to resolve this. Now, the the headline, you know, that that that's just it, it's just amazing to me that the, the headline can be presented in such a way as to make it look like Trump is digging for Republican votes, and it doesn't actually say that. It just says Trump Trump asked to find twelve thousand votes, but if you hear that without any sort of context, if you don't hear that without the context of Trump's, what seems to be a genuine belief in voter fraud, then it's going to sound like, well, what, what, what votes is he trying to find? Well, he's trying to find more Republican votes. He's wanting this Georgia Secretary of State to invent Republican votes. And, you know, I'm not saying that if you actually click into the article that it's going to be making that case that Trump's looking for Republican votes. Far from it. What I'm saying is most people aren't going to click past the headline. Most people are going to look at the headline and say, oh, my God, Trump asked him to find votes. Well, what does that mean? Because that's all the information the person's going to get. They're not going to get the context of Trump believes there's voter fraud. They're not going to get the context of Trump is asking him to find 12,000 fraudulent votes on the Democratic side that should not count towards the, the legitimate totals in that state. 
they're just they're just going to see see the headline and think that Trump was asking for something illegal. No, nothing like that happened. And one la one last thing is uh, Mark Meadows, who is Trump's chief of staff. He was on the call too. He said at the very beginning of the call, he said, you know, in the in the spirit of cooperation and compromise, is there anything that we can do, given that you've publicly stated that there's nothing wrong with Georgia's tally, and the president believes, and, and our team believes that there is something wrong with Georgia's tally, is there anything that, is, is there anything that we can come to agreement on prior to, you know, going through the, the normal litigation process? And people are, are commenting on that as though they're trying to circumvent the courts. But what they reveal later on in the call is that Georgia won't even assign them a court date. So there's no way that there's, there's a lit, uh, litigation process that this is going to be able to be carried through in time to make any kind of difference. So of course the president's team is going to contact the people who actually have a, a chance to make a difference and say, is there any legal way? And it's always legal. If you look at the call, it's always legal. Is there any legal way that we can come and address the concerns that we have with you and for you to basically give your rebuttals and, and, and disprove these things. And really when it came down to it, the, the lawyers said, okay, there are these, there's this pocket of 20,000 votes that we think are fraudulent for this reason. We think this is our best case. And if it's our best case and it's successful, then that would throw Georgia to Trump. So can we just look at this 20,000 uh, vote block and see if that's uh, if it truly is fraudulent. And the Georgia Secretary of State's office said basically, well, you know, there's going to be legal uh, loopholes that we're going to have to jump through if we're going to be able to share that data with you, but, you know, let's get our lawyers together and talk about it. So it wound up being a productive call overall. And the only reason that it was an hour-long call, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny because that was something that was uh, harped on too, you know, Trump, yeah, in, in extraordinary hour-long call. It's like, yeah, it was an hour-long call because Trump rambles. He just rambles and rambles and rambles. If, if you had taken out the duplication where he had said the same things multiple times, you would probably have had a 30-minute call. So, yeah, Trump, Trump has a lot of air in him to exhale. <laughs> I'm trying to be courteous and kind on it. But, you know, he's an old guy who repeats himself a lot. And, and that's largely what was filling up the call. So uh, yeah, this is just this is just another one of those stories uh, that the media grabs on and says, "Oh my God, you know this is this is uh, you know, drag out Carl Bernstein to tell us this is worse than Watergate," but it's nothing, and and you're going to see a whole lot of much ado about nothing over the next week or so. So uh, anyway, that's it. I'm Mike Partika, and uh, I watch the Trump tapes, so you don't have to. <laughs> I will talk to you later.